Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Alan Wake, and let's continue the game where we last left off, which is trying to escape the clinic with Barry, as the darkness is now pursuing us, and let's get to it. We are now out of the hedge maze, but still, we need to get to Barry, and into the car, and get... Right. Bloody he Oh! It was that close. Oh, damn it. What was my ammunition? Well, decent. Still got, still got enough batteries and some handgun ammo and a shotgun. For more, well, here's some more. Oh, well, possessed stuff. Oh, those are always so difficult to. Difficult to dodge. Another manuscript. Thank you. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb. Oh, well, actually, we've only... Now I've got a little bit of a... Hmm. Was... Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. So Hartman was the mastermind behind everything. No. I think, was this the last one? knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead... He no, said, that we have already. So, okay, now well, let's... Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been writing, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Flare gun. Oh, there's a manuscript over there. Well, let's pick it up, even though I've already picked them up in my own play, but still want to show where you can find them. Hmm. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down. 
given proper direction, Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. And there is Barry. Gate. Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of. Oh yeah. God damn it! I awesome. keep forgetting that. Yeah, and then we got a standoff. Hurry up, Barry. Take us. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, I tried to wait that they were all so close together so I could make sure that the flare, but didn't see that. See that the one of those guys managed to climb over here. Let's try to zig around them. Ready, Barry. Farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Ow! how can you know that I know Barry I can Ow! I know listen I can bring her back I can find her there's something special about this place the lake it it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch the dark presence whatever that thing is twists it to its own ends that's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm area. We just need to find it. Look out!
Okay, once again. my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Ow! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Ah! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yep, and we need to catch up since we once again lost our weapons and flashlights and everything. that over there nothing good mm. Agent Nightingale stared at the past outrider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hands shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Ow, 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 can't see a thing. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. 
They've fought in the shades before. Since the movement in the woods ahead, facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Well, at least we got a flashlight now, but no batteries, but still better than nothing. At least we can... Oh, bloody... Oh. Oh, got him. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Oh. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm.
bombs so much for flares. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah, ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! No! I'm sorry! Ah! jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up. Real good movie. The best friends. Something bad guy. Who wrote this crap anyway? Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry.
driving so bit wonky. towards the light and then cut the video the farm is near okay so i'm gonna cu cut the video here now so when we come back ladies and gentlemen let's get to the farm and see barry and let's see about that little moonshine we heard about from that guy but it'll be in the next video until then as always i'll see you when i see you later